Hi, Terry here from Stamping Magic. Welcome back to my channel. Today's project is inside this box. It's a fancy fold card and I'm calling it a concertina display card. I've no idea if it's got a proper name. Now you can display it any which way you like. On the back is a panel to write your message. Now I've used the Seize the Day stamp set together with the C dies and I've also used paper from the Neutrals 6 inch designer series paper pack. Now the designs you see here are actually retired but we do still have the packs in the same colours, just with new designs. This is the card fully open and flat, and here it is fully closed. The closed card measures six inches by four inches. The box I made to hold the card is my standard box for a six inch by four inch card and it's a lovely strong box with reinforced sides. Now, if you're interested in creating your own box to hold your card, I'll leave a link at the top right of the screen under the eye to the video that shows you how. But today we're going to make the card. Let's get started. These are all the measurements you need for all the elements required to create this project. So if you're interested in reproducing it, take a screenshot so you can refer to it later. I'll be using Evening Evergreen card for my base this time. Now ideally you want a piece of 12 inch by 6 inch card, so half a sheet of 12 by 12. But if you haven't got that, you can still create your card base using your standard size card you'll need to cut two pieces. Now the smaller piece measures six inches by six inches and the larger piece is six and a half inches by six inches. I'm placing the larger piece with the longer side at the top of my Simply Scoreboard and I'm scoring down at six inches. Before I join the two pieces together, I'm just going to notch each end of that half inch tab that I scored. Then I can fold on the score line and burnish it with a bone folder. To join the two pieces together, you just add glue to the half inch tab and place the other piece on top of it. and then you can give it another burnish if you want. So I've now got my 12 inch by 6 inch card base. Now, whether you've used one piece or two pieces, you just want to place it into your Simply Scoreboard with the longer side across the top. It doesn't really matter where your join is, whether it's on the top or on the bottom. I'm going to score this now at 2 inches, 4 inches, 6 inches and 8 inches. I now need to concertina fold on all of the scored lines. If you place the larger 4 inch panel on the right, then the first score line will be a mountain fold. I've left the join on the back of my card. If you don't want it to show as much, put it on the front of your card as you're doing the folds. The second score line was a valley fold, the third a mountain fold, and then the final one is another valley. And you want to burnish all of these as you go. And that's the card base complete. These are all the mats I need to decorate my card base. I have five mats of Cajun Craze cardstock and five mats of our 2021 to 2023 in colour six inch designer series paper. These are our new current designs and they're in evening evergreen. 
All the designer series paper mats need to be layered onto the Cajun Craze cardstock mats. Now I won't do this on camera because it's straightforward, so you'll see this completed when I come back. I'm going to use four stamp sets for this project. Now the first one is the Seize the Day stamp set and I'm using most of the images in this set and one of the sentiments. I'm also going to use a couple of the images from the Whale Dunn stamp set. So this seaweed image and the shoal of fish. To add a little colour and interest to the three horizontal panels on the card, I'm going to use the Gentle Waves stamp set. And then for my main sentiment, I'm going to use the Happy Birthday from the Biggest Wish stamp set. Here are my three basic white horizontal panels and I'm using the Gentle Waves stamp set to just add colour and a bit of interest. I've inked the stamp up using pool party ink and I'm going to stamp it off. This will lighten the tone on the panels. I'm laying two of the panels directly onto the stamp and then smoothing them over with some scrap paper. I'll then repeat this for the third panel. So I'm just inking up the top of the stamp and stamping off. Then I can lay that panel on top of my stamp, smooth it over and it's done. I can now start to add the detail to these panels. The ink pads I'm going to use are Evening Evergreen, Old Olive and Soft Suede. I'm going to start with the large seedweed stamp from the Seize the Day stamp set and Evening Evergreen ink. Now, first of all, I'm going to stamp the bottom part of the stamp onto the left-hand side of the bottom panel. And then I'm going to stamp the middle section of the image onto the second panel. And finally, the top part of the stamp I'm using for the top panel. So it looks like it's one piece of seaweed growing up the left-hand side. I'm going to do a similar thing next for the other seaweed using Old Olive ink. So starting with the bottom panel, I'm going to stamp the bottom part of the image and also a little bit at the top to fill in. And then the middle part of the image for the middle panel. And then the top part for the top panel. Now, I already know where I want to place my little shoals of fish because I've already created this card. But if you're not sure where you want them, if you stamp and die cut all your Im other images first, then you can place them on the panels before deciding where you want these little fish to go. Now, this is a really useful stamp because you can have the fish facing either direction. So I'm stamping them twice on the bottom panel, twice on the middle panel, and then I'm turning the stamp around for the top panel, and again stamping them twice. 
these panels will all be layered onto mats of Cajun craze and again I'll do that off camera. This is the basic white panel that I'm using for my main sentiment. Now I'm going to use the birthday stamp first of all and Cajun craze ink and just stamp this towards the bottom in the centre. I'm then using Evening Evergreen ink to stamp the happy on an angle above the birthday. The second sentiment will be stamped on a scrap of basic white card and again I'm using Cajun Craze ink and I'm stamping this into the middle so I've got room to die cut it. Now I'm die cutting it using one of the tasteful label dies. Using Calypso Coral ink I'm going to stamp the little shoal of fish along the bottom and then turning the stamp around I'm also going to stamp them at the top. The ink colours I'm using for the rest of the stamping are Starry Sky, Crushed Curry, Calypso Coral, Tahitian Tide and Cajun Craze. First of all I'm going to decorate the basic white mat that is for the back of the card so this is where you'll write your message. I'm stamping the jellyfish in crushed curry in the top right corner and then the crab in Cajun Craze in the bottom left corner. This mat will also be layered onto a mat of Cajun Craze and again I'll do that off camera. The remainder of the stamping will also be on basic white card. I'm starting with the octopus and this is in Starry Sky. I need two starfish in Calypso Coral. The jellyfish will again be in Crushed Curry and the crab in Cajun Craze. And then I need six fish. You have one fish pointing towards the right and the other points towards the left. All of the images will be die cut using dies from the coordinating C's die set. I can now put the rest of the card together. I have the card base the mat for the back of the card where you'll write your message and then my three image panels. I also have all the elements here that I've just created. It's best to add the back panel first of all while the card can still be pressed nice and flat. I'm going to add the bottom image panel first of all. This is the easiest one to add because you just add the glue all over the back and then you position it against the edges of the Cajun Craze mat. The top panel is next and I'm going to mark the position for the glue. And then I'm going to just add the glue to that front part. And Belle's going to help me. Then I can position this onto my card. The middle panel is slightly more tricky because it needs to be spaced so it's got an even gap above it and below it. Again I'm marking the position for the glue and then just placing it where I think it should go and then closing my card just loosely so I can then adjust it.
And that's my card complete. It's very simple to do. Now I have created a box for this one as well. I kept the boxes very simple. Now remember if you're interested in creating your own there's a link at the top right of the screen under the eye. And here's another look at my original card. Now the colours I used here are Tahitian Tide for the blue and the brown is soft suede. The seaweed was stamped in shaded spruce, the seaweed on the left hand side. I think everything else is more or less the same as the one that I've just created. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Bye for now.